good evening medicos welcome to medical students corner myself dr krishneshri as we have discussed in the last session today is sunday and this is our ecg session so we were discussing about the basics of anatomy and physiology which is very much needed in order to understand the ecg properly so in the last session we have discussed about the surface marking of the heart today we are going to discuss about the conduction system of the heart which is very very important as far as ecg is concerned we all know that ecg records the electrical activity of the heart and this conducting system of heart is responsible for producing the electrical activity in the heart so this is just an introduction to the conducting system of heart and uh, without saying so many things we will directly go to the conducting system of heart so this conducting system of heart it starts with sa node and it ends with the purkin g fibers so uh, this conduction system of heart it, they are the specialized muscle fibers this includes the conducting system of heart the nodes includes the specialized cardiac muscle fibers you understand so we will see the conduction system of heart so so we will draw a heart first suppose this is heart okay and this is the inner chamber of heart okay so inner chamber of heart this is right side and this is left side you understand so this is the basic diagram which is very much needed in order to know the conducting system of heart the conducting system of heart it includes for your uh, information okay it includes sa node sa node internodal tract internodal tract av node a v node bundle of his bundle of his right and left bundle branch bundle branch and also perkin g perkin g fibers so these are the things which is included in the conducting system of the heart so we will see where this conducting system of heart is situated and how it is transmitting the impulse so the most important thing is sa node okay sa node sa node it is also known as sinoatrial node or sinus node sinus node so this sa node it is situated in the right atrium right atrium it is situated in the superior surface superior surface of posterolateral aspect okay superior surface of posterolateral aspect which is just below and lateral to the opening of superior vena cava so superior vena cava it opens here superior vena cava inferior vena cava like that it opens so uh this sa node it is situated in the superior surface of posterolateral aspect of the right atrium which is just below and lateral to the opening of superior vena cava okay so this sa node is situated here sa node it is also known as pacemaker of the heart because it is self excitatory this is made up of specialized cardiac muscles which are self excitatory and the rate of impulse which can be produced by this sa node is about 70 to 80 impulses per minute 70 to 80 beats the rhythmic contraction of this sa node ranges to sa 70 to 80 beats per minute so in many books it is written in Uh, some uh, in some book it is 60 to 100 some book it is 70 to 90 in some book it is 60 to 90 but the standard textbook of physiology uh, the textbook of medical physiology by guyton and hall in 11th edition it is said as sa note the rate of impulses produced is 70 to 80 per 
minute. Okay, this is about SA node. Now we understand what is SA node, which is the location of SA node. Then SA node, after SA node, there is internodal fibers. Internodal fibers. So there are three internodal fibers. Okay, three internodal fibers. Anterior, anterior internodal fiber, middle internodal fiber and posterior internodal fibers. So these are the three internodal fibers. Oh, these internodal fibers are internodal tracts. This carry the impulses which is produced from the self-excitatory SA node towards another one node. So it is since the tract is between the two nodes, it is known as internodal tract. So you understand there are three internodal tracts which arises from the SA node which carries impulses from the SA node. And in addition to these three internodal tracts, there is another specialized internodal tract from the SA node which supplies the left atria. Okay, which supplies the left atria. And this is known as Backman's bundle. Backman's bundle or Backman's tract. Understand? So, there are three internodal fibers. In addition to these three internodal fibers, there is a another internodal fiber, another uh, nodal fiber or another tract which is arising from the SA node and which supplies the left atrium. It is known as Backman's tract or Backman's bundle. Okay. Then, next is, so we have completed SA node and internodal tract. You are clear. Next, there is something known as AV node, atrioventricular node. AV node. Okay, AV node. This AV node. So these are the two nodes. Huh? SA node and AV node. In between the two nodes, internodal. Internodal tracks are there. You understand? So AV node. So AV node, it is also situated in the right atrium. Okay, so the excitatory thing, both the nodes are situated in the right atrium. And this AV node, it is situated in the uh, posterior aspect. Uh, posterior aspect just what uh, behind just behind the uh, tricuspid valve you understand just behind the tricuspid valve so this is AV node so the impulses as, uh, which is produced from the SA node travels through the internodal tract and reaches the AV node and the AV node it is capable of producing impulses to 40 uh, it is, it can produce impulses 40 to 60 per minute. The rate of production is 40 to 60 per minute. You understand? So, AV node. From the AV node arises the bundle of his. Bundle of his. This is known as bundle of his. Okay. Bundle of his. And this, this bundle of his, it is a uh, what uh, it is a track which arises from the AV node and as soon as it arises after some time after traveling some distance it will be dividing into right and left bundle branch right and left so this is bundle of his and this bundle of his divides into right and left bundle branch you understand right and left bundle branch so uh, regarding the right bundle branch, it supplies the right ventricle and regarding the left bundle branch, it supplies the left ventricle. So, this from this both bundles, there will be arising simple simple fibers known as small small fibers known as Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers, okay. So, it arises Purkinje fibers. Here also like that uh, gives rise to Purkinje fibers which is responsible for supplying the impulse which is responsible for carrying the impulse to whole of the ventricles. Ventricles. So we told that uh, we discussed that SA node produces impulses in the rate of 70 to 80, uh, AV node produces impulses in the rate of 40 to 60 per minute and the remaining bundle of his Purkinje fibers, bundle branch, everything they are capable of producing impulses at the rate of 15 to 40 per minute. You understand? So, one more thing you should remember is this left bundle branch, it divides into two branches, anterior and posterior branch. 
there is no division for right bundle branch but this left bundle branch it divides into anterior and posterior branch it supplies the anterior and posterior part of the left ventricle. So this is how the electrical impulse is produced from the SA node and it is carried to the uh, whole of the heart that is why uh, there is electrical activity and this electrical activity is responsible for the contraction and relaxation of the heart you understand. So ECG revolves around this electrical activity or conducting system of the heart which is very very important in order to understand the ECG. So today we will finish our session with this conducting system of the heart. Next Sunday we will be coming again uh, with the uh, this uh, cardiac cycle which is also very very important. So we will be having only small small sessions for the better understanding of ECG. So hope that you are happy with the session. If you are very happy, please subscribe, please share. Thank you very much.